Yeah, he's up. He's here. Um, so now let me share my screen. That would be helpful. And then we can start. All right, here we go. Now, um, so again, today I, I feel like this chapter is super easy. Um, and I think I spoke with you guys about our test is probably gonna be on, well, it is on Friday and we're only gonna miss one section. So then I'm gonna teach you that section. Uh, and then we're gonna do um, some SAT questions demonstrating how important one particular section is, which is the last section writing uh, an equation of a circle um, and um, then we'll take a quiz on that next week but I don't think we have school on Monday next week yeah. right yeah. right yeah we have, we definitely have school on Friday but um, we do not have school on Monday I'm pretty sure about that all right so with that sorry I'm having trouble now all right we're back in action all right so again today um, I, I, I said I've kind of like first period because chapel is generally early and so we have extra time. So for the most part, we should be able to get the work done. All right. Um, and again, today is no different. This uh, section I feel like is uh, really simple. All right. Now, um, the first question is, says copy the figure shown and draw the common tangents. All right, if no common tangents exists, state no common tangent. So let's um, understand that there are many meanings for tangent. All right, when you, um, as you progress, for whatever reason, they use tangent a lot and it has different meanings. All right, uh, we did learn tangent is opposite over adjacent when we were using trig. And now tangent, another meaning for tangent is that it is a line that touches at a single point. All right, so I'm going to give you an example. I'm gonna blow up number one here, and I'm gonna give you an example of a tangent line. That is a tangent line because it touches at one point. This could be considered a tangent line because it touches the other circle at a single point. Then, Common tangent just means that it's tangent at the same point, right? So if I'm looking at this right here, you would be able to say there's no common tangents. And the reason why there's no common tangent is because this tangent line right here is not also tangent to the other circle. All right. Yes, sir. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think what you mean is maybe this. Let me draw this better. No, no, no. So believe it or not, this is considered a tangent line because it touches at one point. Then there's another line. This is actually called a secant line because it touches at two points. So there's a tangent line, then there's a secant line. I'm not exactly sure. I think later in the chapter, one of the next sections, they'll talk about secant lines. All right, I don't know why they just don't bring it up here. But tangent line touches the, and it just doesn't have to be a circle either. It can be touching anything at one point. All right. So. On this one, we say there is no common tangents. All right. Now, what I want to do is just because I know I want to scroll down. Because, like right here, <clears throat> 9, 10, 11, 12, we'll just do those real quick. All right. So, everybody go down to 9, 10, 11, and 12. And again, part of the reason why I like the iPad is because we can draw right on it. It's easy. All right. So, the question is how many common tangents does number nine have? I have a one, I have a three. Anybody else? All right, so draw them, all right? Now, again, it's kind of hard to see, but this right here 
this point right there is tangent. The circles are tangent to each other. Does everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. So can I draw a line through here? Yeah. yeah, so that would be a common tangent. That would be considered a common tangent. All right. Then this right here is kind of weird, right? It's also tangent. Now, I didn't say the definition was had to be tangent at the same point, correct? It's just um, the line is tangent to both circles. All right, and it just so happens that they're tangent to both circles at what different points. All right, and then obviously then the other one would be over here. All right, and then we could just put in the points of tangency. Point of tangency would be right there and possibly right there. All right, so very easy. So those are the points of tangency. All right, number 10, are there any common tangents? Yeah, definitely no. Uh, how many common tangents for 11? Two. Charlie, what do you say? More than two. How about Bo? Four. Oh, oh, yeah. Four? Oh. All right. Let's figure out why it's four. For the most part, I think everybody can see the two tangents, right? And it's kind of annoying because, all right. Does everybody see that? Wow. So those are, that's one point of common tangent, right? And then we can do another common tangent, which would be something like this. Now the what the okay now what where is the other point of where's the other tangent tell me Simon yeah yeah there you go diagonally so we could draw something like this and then it kind of makes an X right. There we have it. Anybody have any issues with that? All right, and number 12, what are we thinking on that one? How many tangents? Yeah, I think there's only two. So just draw those out real quick. Right there. That looks good to me. All right, so sorry about this, my iPad's acting up. So does anybody have any questions with common tangents? All right, common tangents. Anybody? I told you that's easy, very easy lesson. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any questions dealing with tangents, but um, now let's go back and see what question number two is. All right, determine whether FG is tangent. All right, so Again, I'm always trying to show kids that when you're drawing these, all right, what I want to do is I want to find the center of this circle. Here's the center of this circle. All right, now <clears throat> what I want to demonstrate and you try to make up your own, what do you think is true? So now I'm going to draw a tangent line. And that's about tangent to me. So I'm going to blow up and I'm going to try to find the point of tangency, which looks like to me about right there. All right, then what I wanna do is just to show you, I'm gonna draw another random line and we're gonna find that point of tangency, which looks to me, if I blow it up, it'll be somewhere like right around there. All right, now notice these are just estimations. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna draw from the radius to the point of tangency. And then I'm going to draw from here to here. All 
Now, if I was looking at that, what do you think is true? Say it again. Yes, perpendicular. Right, so from a radius to the point of tangency, it always forms what? It always forms a right angle. All right, it always forms a right angle. Now, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to tell you. There's a lot of rules and there's no way, in my opinion, to try to memorize all the rules. It was easy, just draw a circle, draw a tangent line, draw the radius to the point of tangency and it looks like it's what? Perpendicular. So if it looks like it's perpendicular, it probably what? It is perpendicular, all right? So if it is perpendicular, you know it's a point of tangency. That is correct, all right? So if I'm looking at this over here, question number two, is GF a tangent line? Why is it yes? Well, I mean, it looks like it, but if what, tell them. That is exactly correct. That's how simple it is. All right, that's all there is to it. So you're just looking at this saying, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we already know from experience that if this is six, and this is 10, then what am I thinking? Well, no, no, no. And again, that's what I thought at first, Bo. But again, 10 is not the hypotenuse. It's radical 136. Thank you, radical 136. But we know that 12 squared is already what? We already know that 12 squared is already 144. So is it a tangent line? No. The answer is no. Now, again, remember, guys, I stand up here every year and say it's so simple. It's so simple. You just have to know the rules. It's so simple. You know the rules, right? And I keep telling some of you guys who want to be better at it, you actually got to physically do it. You can't look at it and say, okay, yeah, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, that's obviously no. And go to the next one. All right. You do it yourself. All right. If you do it yourself, you'll be happy with your grade. All right. Here we go, number three. Yeah. Well, now here's something that I think is something that is a little deceptive. All right, so I want everybody to look at number two and I want everybody to look at number three and tell me what the difference between two and three is. Yeah, so then that's not possible, but what I'm trying to get you to do is and this is what happens on the test also. You're not paying attention. All right, now I do think it's kind of deceptive here, but what does 12 represent in number two? Yeah. EF. Oh, so 24 is like F to the Yeah, that's how dumb it is. All right, if, if it were me, I'd put over here like this point right here and I'd call this H. And now FH is how much? 24. 24, right? So what's HE, guys? 15. Now, how do I know that? And that's a lot on SAT tests as well. All right? That's a radius. And all radii are what? Equal. So I know that HE is now what? 15. So now this length, FE, is how much? 39. And now we're going to see if it's a triple. So what factor does it have in common? Three. Three. So if that's three, this is three times five. This is what? Twelve. Three times 12. And this is what? Three times 13. So is that a triple? Yeah. Yeah, because again, five, 12, 13 is a triple. And again, we're just going to practice. What are the other triples, guys? Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Thank you. Eight, 15, 17. Your life is much better if you can know those four triples. All right, if you can know those four triples. All right. However, it's not really that big of a deal. You got your calculator, 15 squared plus 36 squared. Does that equal 39 squared? And the answer is obviously what? Yes. 
So is that a tangent line? And the answer here is what? The answer here is yes. All right. So let's see what else is going on here. Now on number four, here it's saying, assume that it is tangent. All right, assume that it is tangent. So now over here, X is going to be what? No, I don't want you using your calculator. Y 20. Yeah, again, come on, please. Some of you guys are sitting there still not knowing those triples. All right, three, four, five. And then it's a factor of what? Four. So X has to be what? X is 20, perfect. X is 20. All right, now over here, yeah, see five is better. Five is better. All right, now this one is gonna involve some algebra. So what is AD, someone tell me? X. All right, so now let's practice our algebra. So what do we have here? Thank you so much, whoever said that. Is that you? Sam, thank you. That's exactly what we got. X squared plus 30 squared equals X plus 18 squared. And remember, I'm trying to get you ready for your test that you'll be taking to get into the private school. All right, that's why I think it's important to understand and to practice all this old algebra stuff. All right, so here we go. X squared plus 900 equals X squared plus 36X plus 324. Anybody have any problems with how I got 36X? Come on, what? Remember now, X plus 18 times X plus 18. Remember our little smiley faces? How much is this? 18 and what? 18, that made what? And 18 times 18 today is 324. And X times X is the X squared. Is everybody happy with that explanation, that review? All right, so what happens to the X squareds, guys? Yep, that's easy enough. All right, so now we just take our handy dandy calculator, do 900 minus 324, which is obviously 500 is equal to 36 X. So X is 16. Now remember guys, I know we have so many kids applying to private schools. I'm telling you, make sure you're with me on this. Anybody have any issues? Anybody have any issues with X equals 16? So now find X, so that's all. All right, now here we have a point outside the circle and I'm gonna draw tangent line and I'm going to draw the other tangent line. If you're looking at that, what appears to be true? Yeah, again, I don't need to remember that. You draw a point outside a circle, draw a point of tangency on both sides of the circle, and then they will be what? They'll always be equal. All right, so everybody should be able to look at that and just say X equals what? Four. X equals four, no work for that. X equals four. Anybody have any questions? All right, so that's the other like little theorem here. All right, which isn't really that hard to prove. You draw this from here to here from there to there, that's automatically 90 degrees. Then you can draw this down to here. This is a leg, this is a leg, this is a what? Hypotenuse. So the triangles are congruent by what? Hypotenuse leg. Simple as that, simple proof. All right, but again, very easy. Anybody have any questions with that? All righty, let's look at number seven. A landscape architect is designing a public park with two adjacent circular fountains. The walking paths are tangent. 
the links that are given in feet find X and Y. So what is true here? Somebody make me an equation. I'm listening. Good. That's what I think. Now look right here. Does everybody see this right here and this right here are just tangent lines, correct? So those are equal. Does everybody agree with this? So now we can solve that real quick and everybody should be able to just look at that and say X equals what? Anybody have any issues with that? I didn't say we're done. I just said, do we know X equals four? So I agree with that. And now, how do we figure that out? Yeah, these parts definitely have to be equal also then, correct? Right, because we should, or you should be able to tell me that we know if this is equal to this, and this part up here is equal to this, then these two parts have to be equal. All right, so now I want everybody to write down y equals 4x minus one. And we already said x is what? So y is equal to what? 15. And of course, those are in feet. All right, yeah, I think that was pretty easy. All right, so here we go, last one. It says triangle JKL is circumscribed about circle R, find X. So somebody help me out here. Yeah, I don't know what the mystery is. They make that seem so difficult. Four X, thank you very much. Minus nine is equal to X plus three. What is KN by the way, someone tell me. What would KN be? Yeah, but I mean, what's the length? I think it would be seven, does everybody agree? And what about JM? JM is how much? 12, yes. So then tell me what X equals. X equals four, does everybody agree with that? All right, so we know X equals four. So if X equals four, then NL is how much? And then OL is what? All right. And so now they're just wanting the perimeter. All right. I, I'm not saying it's accurate, right? They, they don't know. They just draw pictures and do. they don't really know the math. All right, obviously NL is not the same as KN, but in this case it is for whatever reason. I'm agreeing with you, okay? But now uh, part B says find the perimeter. Somebody tell me what the perimeter is. 52. Anybody have any issues with that? Anybody have any issues? All right, so again, I just don't think that's that difficult. 13, 14, 15, 16. Um, I think you guys have enough, all right? Ooh, 35. I want everybody to try 35. Make sure you come to class tomorrow understanding 35. If for some strange reason, please listen to me. Do some research. Don't look at my answer. I think I posted the answers. Don't look at the answer. All right, try to figure out. 35 is the only one I think that's difficult at all. All right, so try to figure out 35. All right, does anybody have any questions? This is very, very simple. Now remember my little boys in the back, all right? Get your work done, all right? All of it done, all right? And also 35, spend some time, do a little research on 35. I'll ask somebody how to do it. Yes, sir. Yeah, just go get a new one. Thank you. All right, that's it, all right? And again, it's nice. We got started a little bit early. We have lots of time. There's no rush. Do the work and be done with it. All right, Brady, hopefully everything is good. Hopefully you're feeling well. Um, 
and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, but well, I don't know when you're coming back, but all right, hopefully you're staying safe, but and I'll see you soon. Thank you. All right, man. I, I'm not sure. I, I, is that a new haircut style or something? No. I'm no, not, it's not. It's not that I'm jealous or anything, but still. <laughs> all right. Um, that's looking. You're looking pretty sharp today, man. See you, man.